Good morning. Let's do it again. Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to Halifax. It's our pleasure to welcome you to Halifax and bring greetings to you from the Faculty of Dentistry and Dalhousie University. We are very proud to be a co-sponsor of this remarkable conference and to be in the presence of many outstanding leaders in the field of restorative justice. I think, and I think you'll agree with me, that the next two days should be a rewarding experience for everyone. Time of learning, discovery, and trying to make education and our workplace and our professions a much better place, more inclusive and healthier climate and culture. I think with that, I'll let Dr. Matthews finish it. Our, our greetings. Thank you, Tom. So many of you know that uh, our faculty was in the spotlight in late 2014 and most of 2015 and some of 2016 uh, following exposure of offensive social media postings. We were shocked, saddened, and ashamed that such an incident <clears throat> I wasn't going to do this <laughs> happened on our watch in our faculty. Managing our response to the scandal, thank you, <clears throat> was complicated by the multitude of voices with strong opinions on the right thing to do to and for those involved. I think that's all I needed. <clears throat> <clears throat> However, we were guided by a number of the young women in the class of 2015, directly harmed by these posts, who showed insight and eloquence in choosing the restorative approach as the most promising path towards meaningful change, choosing education over punishment, personal growth over revenge. We were also fortunate to have incredible, internationally renowned RJ experts on our own campus to guide us through the process of repairing the harms, facilitating the healing, and moving forward to ensure we develop a positive, inclusive climate and culture within our faculty. They gave of their time, their expertise, and I lost my place, <laughs> ah. and their souls, often at the expense of ridicule and condemnation by their peers. We are med immensely grateful to Jennifer Llewellyn, Melissa McKay, and Jacob McIsaac, for what they have given us and continue to give off the sides of their desks. We have also come to realize that while many people were traumatized by, as my Irish friend says, the troubles of 2015 within our faculty and our broader community, our crisis has had a positive impact. It has shone the light on the issues of misogyny, homophobia, and racism issues that pervade our campuses, our profession, and our society. It has opened up conversations around these issues. We have been on an incredible learning journey for the past two and a half years. Participation in and support of this conference is part of our commitment to ongoing change. Our profession is heavily invested in this change, as is evident in part by the sponsorship of the Nova Scotia Dental Association of this evening's reception. We are looking forward to learning more from this conference on how we can use the restorative processes. We welcome you on behalf of Dalhousie University and particularly the Faculty of Dentistry. Thank you. Thank you.